everyone! Long time no see. It's been a little while since I did one of these videos. <laughs> Gone for a very like Garu Mama kind of style look today. I'm feeling the summer vibe. These sunglasses are so cute! <laughs> so I found these in my local Eastern shop. Um, they're another product by The Alley. It says <laughs> small light bottle. <laughs> and they've got a little powder in. I've never heard them before. Um, there are some instructions on the back. I don't know how easy it is to see. Um, but it says you take the lid off, you put in hot or cold water, you shake it up and drink it. So <laughs> it should be easy. <laughs> and we'll see how they taste as well. I have two flavors. I have the peach and strawberry. I'm gonna be making the peach one and save the strawberry one for my partner. Um, so we'll we'll taste test this bad boy. <laughs> I think I normally prefer cold tea, so I'm gonna fill mine up with cold water, and that way I guess we can see if it really does work. Because usually I make them with hot water first, because I feel like that mixes the powders better, like when I do the, the bubble teas and stuff. Um, and then I let them go cold and drink it. But you know what? It says we can use cold water. So let's just go in. Let's just go in with the cold water. I don't really have like something to pour with properly, so I just grabbed a glass of water and I'm gonna pray that my aim is decent enough to get it in. <laughs> oh, okay, to get it in this. Ooh, there's like little... Okay, there you go. The powder's got like little chunks and stuff in it. Funky. Smell test. Mmm. Ooh, it smells like peach yogurt. Mm, that smells really good. <laughs> Probably gonna make a mess. I'm actually sat in my dog's bed right now, so I'm sorry if I get water in your bed. We're gonna we're gonna try. Oh no, I'm making a huge mess. Okay, I don't know where to fill to. <gasps> okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. I'll leave a gap. I mean, the whole cup. I did a whole glass. I did a whole glass of water. <laughs> it's like to here. So there is a gap at the top. All right, let's put the lid on and shake it up. Where you put your lid on tight. <laughs> um, also, I'm reading on the back, it says peach oat milk, um, but it does have cow's milk in it as well, so it's not vegan. Just thought I would let everyone know that. <laughs> Don't even know why it says oat milk. Because it just says like it has milk powder. I don't know, just read your ingredients. Always be safe. Right, lid is on tight. Let's shake it. I don't know how long I should shake it for. It doesn't say. I'm sure it does say something. <laughs> but I can't read. Oh, is that just because the bottle's wet? I hope so. shake it for. I've been shaking it for a while. Um, let me just open and see if I can see any like powder on the top or anything. Oh, it's really bubbly. I can't show you. I can't. I can't. <laughs> but it just looks like white and bubbly. Still smells good. Right. Taste test. Mmm. That's really good. <laughs> I'm not a huge like milk person, but it's really good. I made a weird, I don't know if I made a weird face at first, but there's little bits in it. Um, I'm guessing little peach bits. So I wasn't like, oh, I didn't shake it good enough. But I think it's just like chunks. Hmm, that's really good. It mixed with the cold water, which was, I was worried it wouldn't do. Um, but yeah, that's really yummy. <laughs> these are really good because they're really light and they've got the powder in it and everything. If you were going somewhere and you wanted something, some flavor, <laughs> and maybe you just brought a water bottle with you, you can mix some of your water into this and have something with flavor and it wouldn't be like super heavy for another drink. But yeah, it's really good. It's definitely something different. This would be good as well, I think, like for work. 
take one to work and then fill it up at the tap with tap water. And then you have a flavored drink. Mmm. I got a bit. But it's really nice. It's really good. Um, I'm assuming the strawberry one will be just as good. I'm not gonna make it right now, but I'm gonna have a sniff. Oh my god, these lids are so tight! Oh no, oh no. It's doing that thing where the whole thing swirls. Oh no. Please. Oh. Okay, I just pulled it off. Again, the little bits are in there. smells really tasty. Mmm. <laughs> that smells really good. Oh god, I probably won't be able to get the lid back on now. Oh no. I might have to save my lid for the other drink. It's like, I don't know what happened. <gasps> I may have just fixed it. Might be okay, but it doesn't have the bit. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep holding the other bit. Just yeah, that was really easy to do. Like you probably don't think it needs instructions, but I thought I would share just in case someone was like, "Wait, am I doing this right?" Um, you are. Don't worry. If I can do it, you can do it. Easy. That's tasty, and the bottle's really cute too. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'm also, um, I just hit 400 subscribers, so thank you. I see you. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Hopefully we can do more cool foodie video things. Um, I kind of want to do one of those self-cooking noodle pots again, because my local shop has these super duper fancy ones. They're like massive. They probably feed a whole family. They're huge. And they've just got loads of components. And I would love to try and use my brain power to make one of those. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again hopefully super soon <laughs> bye